Hey guys, Just Coleman here from Just Photo and Video. Today I'll be doing a tutorial with the DJI 3D Focus System paired with the Backmagic Pocket Cinema 4K and the Sigma 18-35 f1.8. This is a video that a lot of you guys have been asking for, so here it is. Before we get started, make sure that you mount the 3D Focus System on top of the camera and that there's nothing in front of it that's obstructing its view. Next, you're going to take the USB cable that's plugged into the second port. You're going to plug it into the port on the left side of the 3D focus system. And the USB cable that comes with the follow focus system, you're going to plug that into the right side of the 3D focus system. Next, we're gonna set the lens to minimum focus, which is 0.28 meters on this lens. Next, we're going to engage the focus motor. That looks good to me. Once we have the focus motor engaged and the lens set to minimum focus, we can move on to the next step in the calibration process. Swipe left. Go down to the second screen, select 3D focus, make sure that you're on manual focus, select the lens. I have all three lens here as 35 millimeter. So next up, you're going to hit start collaboration. To stop the motor twice when it gets to infinity and we're going to stop it twice when it gets back. So let's go ahead and do that now. We're going to stop it, stop it a second time, stop it, stop it a second time, Next up, you're going to select the lens focal length. Here, this is an 18 to 35 millimeter lens, so I selected 35 millimeter. Then I'm going to go to next. Next, we need to have a subject stand one meter away. So now my subject is going to stand one meter away. So now that the subject is just over one meter away, I'm going to use the focus wheel to set focus on the subject. Now, making sure that I'm using focus speaking to ensure that the subject is actually in focus. You're too far away, just come a little bit closer. It's good. Confirm. Now I'm going to have the subject stand four meters away. Keep backing up. All right, stand right there. Now the subject is in focus and confirm. And just like that, your, your lens now have autofocus. If I put my hand in front of the lens, you'll see it move. So there it is, guys. That's how you get autofocus on a Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K using the 3D focus system from DJI. Now we've switched to the view on the Blackmagic camera. And as you can see, I'm still in focus. I have uh, active track turned on on the R2S right now. So this R2S is following me around this room and I will come back all the way over here and I'm still in focus. And one of the good things is that I am able to use my Tilta Nucleus Nano on the zoom ring on this particular camera. So here is the Tilta Nucleus Nano. I'm gonna be having a seat here in a second. As you can see, I am in focus. I'm going to turn active track off and I'm going to recenter this towards me and take a look at this. Using the Tilted Nucleus Nano, I can 
go all the way from 18 and I can come all the way in to 35. And we'll go up some. Using the Tilted Nucleus Nano, I can go from 35 all the way back out to 18. And I am still in focus using this particular system. So this wraps up my tutorial of the DJI 3D Focus System paired with the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K and the Sigma 18-35 f1.8. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next one.